Hey, thanks for checking out our planters today at Boldly Growing. This is going to be an assembly video to show you how to put together our raised bed with screws. Now we think this is a really great product. It offers a lot of great value to our customers. It's not the most expensive one that we have, but it really holds up well, especially compared to its competitors. The walls are thicker than the competitors. We use a different construction method that actually uses screws so that you get a little bit longer life out of your planter. And then we've also sanded everything down smooth so you're not going to get any splinters while you're putting it together. Now this is made from a rot resistant cedar that is going to last for many years. We think you'll get a lot of good life out of this product. One thing you want to keep in mind with this planter is that it does require eight wood screws per corner. So there's going to be 32 screws in all. If you don't have an electric drill, you may want to consider one of our other options like our tool free raised bed. This one's got quite a bit thicker wood. It's actually uh, one and a half inch thick wood, but it just uses metal pins to put it together, which are hidden in the end. There's no hardware showing. It's really a neat design, but it is quite a bit more expensive because the wood is so much thicker. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how to assemble this. It does assemble in about five minutes. You'll see it's very easy, very simple. Okay, now when we get the package and we take it out of the box, it's going to look a little bit like this. Now you can see I've already taken apart the, uh, the plastic straps here. Uh, I, I cut those to get them you know, taken care of. What you're going to get is you're going to get four corner pieces, which I'm just going to set off to the side now. Then you're going to have a hardware pack, which has your screws that you'll need. You're going to get an instruction sheet, which tells you how to do it, but you'll see it's pretty straightforward. And then there's going to be a liner that is optional if you want to put it down on the bottom at the end. You're also going to have four panels. Now these are not all the exact same, although they do look very similar. We have them labeled with stickers. So panel A is actually the longer panel, easily identifiable if you can't figure it out by the logo panel, logo piece on there, on one of them. They don't both have the logo, but you can also see that they are longer than the B panels. So the B panels are shorter, the A panels are longer. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take an A panel and we're going to go ahead and attach the corners to it. So I'm going to take this, I can look at my instructions to figure out exactly the right orientation but it's pretty easy. So I'll take the corner and I'm going to go ahead and line it up so that the long piece here is going to be parallel to my longer panel and then the shorter piece will be uh, parallel to the shorter panel. So with that long piece there, I'm going to line it up and then it's just as easy as putting four screws in. Now I do want to be careful when I'm putting these screws in that I don't over tighten. We've tried to make that clear in the instructions. If I'm using an electric drill, I want to put the torque setting down pretty low. I usually use a four or a five on mine. That's about 25% of the way there. And then I'm going to put four screws in. If you do over tighten, it's possible to put the screws through the back side, so just be aware of that. Then I'm going to take this other panel, take one more corner piece, line it up the same way, and repeat it on the other side. Once I've done that, I'm actually going to take the other A panel and repeat it and put the corner pieces on the other A panel. Alright, once I've gotten those panels taken care of, then I'm going to go ahead and grab a B panel, and I'm going to line it up and put it in just like this, just like you would think it would go. Now I do wanna to check to make sure my logo is facing up. Otherwise at the end you'll have to flip it over, which is no big deal. Okay, then I'm gonna repeat it for the other side. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this other A panel. Now this one doesn't have a logo, so it doesn't matter which way it goes. And I'm going to install it on the other side. So I just line it up and put the screws in. Now this last step is actually optional. Uh, we have some people who like to put in the weed barrier, some people who don't. If you're planting on grass, like if I was going to put it in here, um, then I would probably want to use it to prevent that grass from growing up through, um, through the bottom of my raised bed. If you're planting on dirt, it's probably better not to use it because then you'll give your, your um, plants a little bit more space for their roots to go down. It's really up to you. 
before you put this weed liner in or this weed barrier in, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and position your raised bed exactly where you want it to go. So it's pretty easy to pick up at this point. It's only about 25 pounds or so. So you can pick it up, move it to where you want. Let's say I wanna situate this one right about here. And then I can just unfold my liner. And if I want to go ahead and put this down. You can see it's a little bit windy today, but once you get some dirt in there, it holds it down real well, no problem. And that's it. Thanks for checking out our planters today at Boldly Growing. We hope you'll give us a shot. We think you'll have a really great experience with our products.